You're out for a walk on a winter's day and encounter a set of animal tracks in the snow. Tracks in the snow can tell you what kinds of critters are around. Many are the familiar mammals, like squirrels and rabbits, but many are of mammals that only come out at night or are very secretive. Tracking allows you to see what the animals have been doing. We can learn the routes an animal takes, when it walks and when it runs. Sometimes you can even know what it catches to eat, all by following tracks in the snow. Consider tracking when the sun is low and when the light is casting long shadows. Animals will travel in the direction of their front of their feet and their walking, galloping, bounding or waddling gives strong clues to their identity. The moose's cloven hooves are often over 18 centimeters long, which leave trampling marks on plants, shrubs, or anything that lies in their path. Moose can travel over any terrain with their long legs. Black bears leave large tracks, with the rear feet tracks looking almost like human footprints. The front footprints of a black bear average 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. Red foxes are nocturnal, but it's not unusual for them to be spotted during the day. Foxes usually place their rear feet in the front footprints. They leave a distinctive straight trail of alternating prints. Deer have very keen senses and they usually know you are coming long before you see them. Find a single heart-shaped track and you're likely find many more tracks and even trails. White-tailed deer tracks average five centimeters to seven centimeters in length. Squirrels are gallopers. Their normal track patterns show the rear feet in front of the front feet in a walking and running gait. Look for four toes on the front and five toes on the rear. A fisher's tracks may lead to the plucked remains of an unfortunate porcupine. They usually prefer to run leaving angled pairs of prints that show hind prints over four prints. Claws will show on the five toes. The big rear feet of the cottontail rabbit hit the ground in front of the two small front feet when the rabbit is walking or running. And the trail looks like a series of C's or V's made by the four feet. Small mammals like shrews, mice, and voles tend to go from hole to hole for safety and to excess food caches. The size of hole that each animal goes into are as follows. Less than 2.5 centimeters in diameter for the shrew, 3.2 centimeters diameter hole for mice and voles, and at least a five centimeters hole for red squirrels and chipmunks. Wild turkeys are common in our region of Ontario and Quebec. They leave a distinctive three-toed print on the snow.